I have three different controller setups that three different pro Fortnite players use. So I'm going to play Arena, but each game is going to be me completely copying a pro setup, which means I'm going to be using the same controller, the same control accessories, and the same controller setting. The first pro setup that I'm trying is from AV. AV is a pro controller player on NA East, and he has nearly $100,000 earned on this game. His controller setup includes a scuff impact, four paddles, and some really interesting exponential setup. Poke reminder to subscribe and use my code CARTER2K. It's greatly appreciated. So the scuff impact AV uses is a customizable controller that can have features like different size thumbsticks, mouse click triggers, a built-in grip, and four reprogrammable paddles on the back. These are the settings that he's playing on. Slide hold time is going to be 0.15 seconds. Camera is the default pitch 0.1. Both his build and edit multipliers are a 1.8. And then for his look sense, he's going to be on 52% for both horizontal and vertical with no turning horizontal and vertical boost, but there is a turning boost ramp time of 0.19 seconds. And the pair with the instant boost when building is on. And then for ADS, it's 12% for both horizontal and vertical. And on ADS as well, there's no horizontal and vertical turning boost, but there is a turning boost ramp time of 0.05 seconds. There's a zero second look game time, and then these are on exponential. And for his dead zones, he actually uses eight and five, but I'd get stick drift if I went that low, so I'm not. Now let's see how this setup does in arena. People are actually playing this so weird right now. The aim is definitely coming in pretty nice right now. Oh, I'm out of math. Nice, bro. There is just no way. I literally recorded this exact video last night. I played four arena games, won one of them, and was dropping like five to six kills per game. But there ended up not being any game audio, so I just scrapped the entire thing. And now I have to record it at one in the morning, and this is just awful. Thank you, holy. All right, that wasn't a terrible fight. My aim was pretty solid right there. I kept up with that guy. But one thing about AV's setup that I find really weird is that even though on the scuff impact, he uses four paddles, he still edits with touch pad. He doesn't actually even play claw. Basically what he does is moves his left index finger over the top of L1, and then he clicks touch pad from the top. What a weirdo. He was about to leave the game. His four pals actually jump, interact, reload, switch mode, and then crouch and confirm. If you ask me, those are not optimized binds at all. Dang, dude, this aim is actually so good for long range. If you were to ask me, those are not the most optimal binds, but he's a pro player and I'm not, so... That is a pro player. Just so you guys know how bad Arena gets late at night, that is a pro player. That is Owl. He's literally right here streaming to 152 viewers right now. Arena late at night is literally just the worst. Thanks to that pro player, we get to move on. The second pro setup that I'm trying in this video comes from Slappin. Slappin is also a pro controller player on NA East, although he does only have around $5,000 in earnings, but he's really known in the creative scene. So his setup includes a standard PS4 controller, a strike pack, and again, some exponential settings. I've been seeing a lot more pro players using exponential, so I don't know if it's the new wave or what, but I'm liking it. His exponential settings start on a 0.25 slide hold time, default pitch and 0.1 camera settings with the build multiplier being 2.2, edit multiplier 2.3. On his look sense on both horizontal and vertical is 41% with zero boost at all on any of that. For ADS, he's at 10% for both horizontal and vertical with again, no boost. A zero second look damping time, exponential, and then for his dead zones, he actually goes up to 15% on each stick. But dead zones are personalized to your controller, so I'm sticking with my 10 no, everyone knows the good old standard PS4 controller. It's a really comfortable controller. It has low input delay. It's pretty durable, and it's a great controller if you don't care about any other features. But some pro players like Slap and do use paddle, which is where this attachment comes into play. This is the Strike Pack Dominator, which is basically a $40 controller attachment that adds two paddles. However, it definitely has some other questionable features that I'll talk about in a second. But first, let's get into Arena Game and hope I don't have to fight another pro player. Let's go. Not a bad little play right there. Let's go. All right, not terrible fights right there. But let's talk about the strike pack because it is really controversial. It is made by Collective Minds who also just so happens to make the infamous Cronus Zen. And the strike pack is also called a mod pack. So that means it's capable of mods. I think the most popular one is called like anti-recoils, which you can imagine gives you way better aim. I don't know how good it works, but that's the name of the mod. And there's a bunch of other mods similar to that. 
Let's go, bro. That guy actually annoyed me so mad. But I've done a lot of testing of PS4 paddles. I've tested the DualShock 4 back button attachment. I've tested all of Extreme Raid stuff. And I've tried a bunch of knockoff ones, but literally none of them compare to how comfortable and good these strike packs are. Which honestly, I wish there was a better cheap paddle option because the strike packs being able to have mods kind of ruin them. No, if he didn't hit that shot, I would have had him too. One big thing to look for if you ever do see someone using a strike pack is the white mode means it's on tournament mode. If the light is blue, that means mods are activated. On my main PS4 controller setup, I actually do use the four paddle strike pack. And even though I do use a hand cam in all my videos, people still accuse me of cheating literally every day. I'm just doing realistics really quick to finish my point. But obviously, Slappin would never actually say if he cheats or not. That doesn't make any sense. So there's really not a great way to know. But that is something interesting about his setup. Overall, the entire setup is pretty average. I definitely feel like my aim and mechanics are getting better on Exponential, so that's really good. Well, that means I get to move on to the next. The third pro setup that I'm going to be using is coming from D-Roller. D-Roller is, once again, a pro controller player on NA East. Honestly, didn't even mean to pick three East players, but I guess that worked. He has about $65,000 in earnings on this game, and his setup is a little bit different, mainly because he actually uses an Xbox-style controller, which is the Xbox Elite Series 2, which he uses with two paddles and again exponential settings this is actually crazy i had no idea that all these guys use exponential his slide hold time is gonna be all the way down at 0.01 with the default pitch 0.1 camera setting both his build and edit multipliers are only 1.6 but his look sense is 50 percent both horizontal and vertical with zero boost on ads he's using the same as slap and at 10 percent for both horizontal and vertical with no boost zero second look damage time exponential and on his dead zones he uses seven percent on each stick but you guys know the drill with dead zones just yesterday d roller actually qualified to fn CS Grand Finals with this exact setup. So let's go see how I can do an arena with it. And I almost forgot to mention that this controller also has some really cool features. There's a grip running down the front and back. Here's two of the four possible paddles. And then there's this trigger control system, which goes from basically instant triggers all the way to full long press triggers. Let's go. I did pick pros that use paddles for this video because paddles are the only way that I actually know how to play the game. But what I didn't expect is for all of these paddles players to be using exponential. I'm wondering if that's just a coincidence or if there's a reason. That shot literally hit. And just so you guys know, not all pro players are using these complex setups like the ones that I'm showing. There's so many pro players that literally just use their standard console controller. That could be Xbox One, PS4, or PS5. And then basically all of the pro players are playing Claw on that setup. But I mean, I'm talking about Miro, Day, Illis, Byla, TK, and literally so many more of these top tier players that don't even touch an accessory. All they're using is standard controller. No, bro. How are these guys hitting these shots? Honestly, D-Roller's setup is not my favorite, mainly just because I don't prefer Xbox controllers. However, his settings definitely feel all right. I feel like my aim was decent on them. And that is the three pro setup. Thanks for watching me torture myself with 2AM Arena.